Hey Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading for January 2021. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to uh, get into some general messages here for the month for you guys. Um, they are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, as well, you can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising signs. Um, I've also posted the 2021 predictions so for the year so make sure you check those out as well if you have not already okay um as well make sure you like and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated um if you all could do that for me especially if you enjoy these messages all right so we are going to pull some tarot and some oracle cards here for you guys uh we're gonna go through a 10 card celtic cross spread for you this month so let's kind of see what comes up for Scorpio, January 2021. What have we got going on? might have a big decision to make this month. Let's see. So current energy, we have the five of pentacles. Your challenge is the four of pentacles. Subconscious, we have two of pentacles. Uh, in the past, we have the two of cups. Uh, what's on your mind is the seven of pentacles. Uh, your near future, we have strength. Your current energy is the Ten of Wands. Uh, energy surrounding you that you might not see is the Lovers. Uh, hopes and Fears, we have the Two of Swords. And then your outcome, we have the Empress. It's a good card to end on. Um, Four of Swords is the overall with the High Priestess, the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are, um, sorry, I'm just kind of looking at the cards there. Um, there's something about money and stability here for you guys what I'm picking up on. There is some sort of relationship stuff as well, or partnership that's coming in. So we'll kind of see what these all are about. We're going to grab an Oracle card here for your energy. For Scorpio's energy, January 2021, we have here. Scorpio, January 2021, what do we have? We'll get one card. Too many. Let's grab one card, please. Okay, so we have Between Worlds, number three. So you're definitely moving into this place of expansion and growth. Uh, they're also, um, like I said, there's a decision here of some sort. We have four twos, which is can be about decision or partnership. And as well, we have the lovers, which is about partnership or coming together, but also a choice. So there's something here, like I said, there's something about a choice. Some of you are starting something new or you're like moving into a new place. So let's kind of see what we have. So we have the four of swords, the high priestess, the nine of swords, and the four of wands. Some of you are literally, like, some of you are stressed about your home situation. Um, as well, I feel like a lot of you are not really, you're very much in your own head. Um, you're kind of, like, keeping to yourself. You're not really, you're not really um, communicating or chatting with other people. It's like you're just really self-focused or, like, really just in your head. Um... I think that like you're also needing to heal some of your fears 
to kind of like use your intuition over your fears as well. But yeah, some of you are stressed about your home life or your family life. The current situation, we have the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles would be your, your block or your challenge. There, um, Like I said, there's something financial here um, that's very much present in your life. And I feel like you're struggling to find stability. Um, there's something we have a lot of repetitive numbers here as well. Um, but I, I think that there's something that you are like, again, there's something you're struggling to find stability in. Some of you maybe feel like you have no assistance, you have no help, you're doing this all on your own. Um, some of you could have lost a job or you've lost income or something to that aspect or somebody left you out in the cold, like somebody ghosted you as well if this is relationship wise. Um, but again, it's like you're, you're struggling to be stable or to feel stable. Uh, in your subconscious, we have the two of pentacles. So you're, you're weighing your options. You're looking at something and you're not sure what to do with it. Like I said, there's some sort of choice for you guys here this month. Um, in the past, we have the two of cups. So some sort of a relationship or a partnership um, or a coming together that um, was present in the past. On your mind, we have the seven of pentacles. So this is consciously what you're thinking about is like growth. You're waiting for growth. You're waiting for a return of your invest your investment. So there's something you've put a lot of effort in here that you're waiting to get a return on. You're waiting for things to grow. And it very much, like I said, could be finances. Um, your future um, position, we have strength. So there's something that you're maybe overcoming or you're gaining some courage here to kind of move forward. Your current energy is the 10 of wands. You're tired. You're tired. You feel like burnt out. You're exhausted. You constantly feel like you're fighting against something or someone. Um, as well, we have in your current energy, like surrounding you that you may or may not see, we have the lovers. So this could be Again, like a partnership that you don't see coming in or um, a choice. For some of you, it's very much a choice with all these twos. Your hopes and fears, we have the two of swords. Um, you're blocking something. You're not seeing something. Again, I feel like your intuition is blocked because they're both twos. And with the high priestess over here, we have the four and the nine of swords as well. So I feel like you're needing to like unblock your intuition. Um, there's like a lack of trust there. But in your outcome, we have the empress, which is great because it's growth and expansion. Um, it's abundance. It's starting something new, creation, right? Um, but I feel like you're kind of like between worlds. So you're, you're in this place where you're, you're coming from one place, this five of pentacles, and you're moving into the empress. So you're kind of in between situations here. So let's see, what is this? Um, we're going to clarify these cards. What is this five of pentacles here for Scorpio for this situation? We have the queen of swords. So somebody might have cut you out or you cut somebody else out. Yeah, five of pentacles again at the bottom. I think you got cut out. Somebody somebody cut you off. Um, again, it could be like a job too. Like somebody could have cut you off from having a job or finances. There was a cut to your finances for some of you. What is this four of pentacles here in the block or challenge for Scorpio? Six of cups. It's almost like you're stuck in the past. And so therefore you can't find stability. Like you're, yeah, you're stuck in the past. You're stressed about the past. Could have been a person. So if it is this two of cups, like you're stressed about a person. What is this two of pentacles in the subconscious energy for Scorpio? 
So Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. With the Devil here at the bottom of the deck. Again, there's something you feel stuck. There's a decision, but you you feel restricted in it. And I think part of it is a little bit of that intuition, like not manifesting with the universe. You're needing to um, create more abundance for yourself. It's almost like a how do I do that? Like how am I, how do I get this to grow? How do I become independent on my own or like self sufficient? Um, what is this two of, I feel like there's two things kind of going on here. There's something about like somebody left you. I feel like it could have maybe affected your finances. Um, but you're also still hung up on the past. So I feel like you're kind of figuring out like, how do I move forward almost? What is this two of cups in the past energy here for Scorpio? What is this two of cups? In the past energy for Scorpio. So we have the Devil, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So again, you feel you felt stuck. I feel like you're overcoming this in the near future because we have a strength here. But that's like there was some sort of distance between you and this person. You may not be talking to them or they weren't talking to you, but there's some sort of like toxic karmic situation. I feel like it could have been a karmic partner maybe for some of you. Um, but there became some distance between the two of you. Um, and I feel like you're needing the strength to kind of like overcome that. And that's probably what you're healing from as well. What is this seven of pentacles here in uh, for what's on Scorpio's mind? way too many cards seven of pentacles we have the hanged man so yeah you feel like things just like aren't they're not doing anything they're not going anywhere you're like wanting things to progress and you're just waiting patiently waiting um we have the ace of cups here at the bottom of the deck so some of you could be waiting on new love um Somebody may, some of you may have someone like watching you, uh, but they're not reaching out to you. Yeah, there's something about what you're, whatever you're waiting for isn't coming towards you. Or you feel like it's not coming. What is this strength here in the near future for Scorpio? of cups so yeah you're wanting to move forward you're having the strength to overcome the past and to move forward towards something that gives you happiness and joy and something that's um you're wanting a relationship that's more concrete something that's more legit um something that like has potential as well what is this ten of wands here king of pentacles so again you could just be very focused on money and you're you're tired like you're exhausted um there is still this like there's this ace of cups that's like lingering here but i feel like for some of you you're focused on your money there's something about a lack of money or needing to find some stability in money or home what is the lovers here in the surrounding energy that they may or may not see for scorpio what is the lovers here Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Temperance. So there's, there is a choice here. So there's a rebuilding of a foundation. Some of you, this is within a connection. Um, the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords is not the best. Um, it's like somebody, somebody left you, somebody stole from you, somebody like, again, it's, it can almost be like a lack, like somebody lost a job or somebody, it's like somebody pulled the rug right from uh, underneath you, right? Um, so for some of you, like, again, it's linked to that money, um, 
others of you, it is a connection of a person who was sneaky, deceptive, they lied to you, um, they left you out in the cold. There is a sense of like rebuilding or like starting from scratch. We have the temperance here. So someone might want to rebuild with you here with the three of pentacles. For some of you though, you're just rebuilding your finances and it's going to take some time. So you just have to be patient. What is the two of swords here in the hopes and fears? What is the two of swords here for the hopes and fears for Scorpio? We have the Knight of Swords. You're not taking any action. It's almost like your hope is that someone will come towards you. But you're not, uh, you're not necessarily like open to it though. There's something about like, you're not taking any action because you, the Hermit I feel like is you. But I feel like you're, it's like you're not open to, um, to movement or to like even somebody coming in towards you here. Again, I feel like you're just like, you're, you're not really, you're almost like you're stuck, right? Like you're stuck in a situation, you feel stuck. And so you feel like things aren't progressing or that's your fear that things aren't going to progress. And again, some of you need to make a decision as to what direction you need, you want to move in. So what is this outcome here for um, Scorpio? What is this Empress energy here for Scorpio and the outcome for January 2021? We have the world, the tower, bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. So like all of a sudden things are going to move forward and things are going to grow for you. I also feel like you're completing a big cycle in your life here, but it's almost like it's going to level you up. Because, um, like, I see a sudden closing of a cycle here, but also success and moving forward. So there's going to be growth here. Um, there's going to be growth here. So it might seem like everything's falling apart right now, or like things continue to maybe not get better or they're just not progressing, but it will move forward. There is going to be movement forward and I feel like it might be very unexpected for you as well with that tower. Like all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh my God, like money, if it's money, it's like all of a sudden you're going to get like a windfall of money. Um, all of a sudden there's going to be, you're going to get more clients or you're going to be busier at work or you're going to get a raise or something like that. Like, um, if you're in a relationship, it's like all of a sudden, um, all of a sudden there's going to be progress in your love life. Something like that. Like it's because I feel like right now for you, it's at a standstill. And so you're like, what the heck is going on? Like, what do I do with this? I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I'm not really progressing or moving forward. But I feel like with your outcome here, it's like all of a sudden it's just going to like, boom, it's like just going to be in your life. Um, so again, it's like you're between worlds. So it's going to take some time here for things to transit transition for you. So what's your love message? We have ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. So this is like accepting the good and the bad of yourself, of like all what you like and don't like of yourself. It's accepting you for who you are and taking ownership for who you are. So again, I feel like you're going through some sort of like karmic lesson or a cycle here. We have kindness. You are, you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. So offering up kindness, helping other people, all those like good karma things, you know? Um, some of you could be like volunteering as well. 
I think too, a part of that is like when you put that out there, it can always come back to you as well, right? Like just with manifestation, attract, law of attraction, all those types of things. So what other messages do we have here for Scorpio? I feel like things are going to get a lot better for you guys. Um, things are going to improve quite a bit. We have a new start is coming. Yep. And look at that, the fool at the bottom of this deck too. So what else do we have messages for Scorpio? It doesn't really tell me, um, like for some of you, like I said, somebody could be coming back around wanting to fix things, but it's not really telling me about that situation. So that to me shows like this person isn't taking any action towards you. They're just kind of in your energy and they might want to rebuild with you, but there's no action. They're not, they're not physically coming towards you. So they might not come towards you in this month. We have believe in the impossible. Let's get one more. And then be bold, make the first move. A fiery climax approaches. So be cautious with your words, but as well, believe that you can come into a place of stability, security, um, whether it's financially or with just, with, just within your life, um, but believe that you can achieve that because there is something new, the new cycle, a new start that's coming for you here, but you might have to take some action in order to achieve that, okay? So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully that resonated with you. Let me know down in the comments below if it did. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy these messages, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.